Hello everyone, this is Solomon from Solomon Gimons and today we're gonna be upgrading the input jack of my Marshall MX212 with the Pure Tone Multi-Contact Jack. Uh, I'm gonna do this upgrade because I don't really like the way that the input that we have in this cabinet currently feels. You know, sometimes when I put the cable, I don't I don't hear any kind of click and uh, I just don't feel really good about this input i don't know if it's really making contact uh, i never had any issue with it uh, but you know i always like to hear the clicking i always want to make sure that the cable is connected in the right place and it doesn't gonna felt you know especially with the vibration of the amplifier when i'm playing live or when i'm playing home you know you never know sometimes there is a lot of vibration with these valve amps with the speakers and this input jack that this cabinet currently f have it feels really loose and it's not something that you can open and you just can um try to make it more tight because this is um input that isn't close so yeah we're gonna be using like i said the pure tongue multi-contact input because this input have um like the name of the input says it has multi-contacts and uh, and it's a really nice product, I think, by this company. And I want to try it. And yes, I'm going to show you how I upgrade this with the Pure Tone Multi Contact. So let's see. Reading the speaker on my cabinet today. That's why uh, I'm going to remove the entire back cover of the cabinet. But if you guys only going to upgrade the input jack, just take out the the back plate of the uh, input jack and you don't need to remove the whole thing to do this upgrade it, i just gonna do it because i need i need to take it out uh, the old speaker that i'm upgrading but we don't gonna talk about that we're just gonna be focusing on the pure tone multi-contact thank you that support the input jack plate on the cabinet you can proceed uh, to remove um, the washer and the nut After you remove the washer and the nut, you can unsolder uh, the positive and negative cables. That's the only connections that you have on this input jack. So it's, it's actually a very easy process. multi-contact uh, input jack is a very simple jack it's a, it's a mono jack so you only have a um, positive and negative connections on this uh, in the picture we have which one is the positive and which one is the negative so you guys don't get confused and as you guys know the red cable gonna be the positive and the black one gonna be the negative that's the only thing that we can we're gonna be soldering back and you know since I removed the back of the cabinet that's where I gonna be using to support myself while I'm doing the soldering and you know I'm gonna put some paper on there and I'm gonna proceed to soldering the negative connection first and okay guys that was for all this video you know this was a very easy upgrade I just gotta put everything back backwards only thing after this we just gotta put um, the washer and not back but we gotta use the washer that came with the pure tone multi-contact because the washer of the input jack that was original in this amplifier was a little bit bigger so as long as it fits you guys are good you if it doesn't fit maybe you guys gotta look for a bigger washer but that's that's all you know it's it, it always gonna fit you know this is a one by four input jack and the other one was the same it, it was just a little bit bigger but it was a one by four you know it's it's not different you know everything is right everything looks right i just gonna put it back do some tests but i know that everything is working right already and uh, for those that want to hear the review of the eminence db77 that i installed on this cabinet please share subscribe and like this video i'm gonna be upgrading that review soon thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time take care bye